In this video, it's time to showcase the must-have new Fallout 4 mods that you shouldn't miss in December 2023. We've prepared a variety of mods, ranging from gameplay enhancements to outfits, rifles, and visual improvements. So, without further ado, let's get started. In the first segment, we'll introduce several noteworthy gameplay-related mods that have caught our attention recently. There are some exciting mods we'd like to showcase. First up, we have the Grappling Hook. This mod adds a new feature, allowing the character to throw a hook and move to the desired location. You can assign a hotkey for it in the MCM menu. Using this feature in first-person perspective opens up incredible gameplay possibilities, especially in areas with a lot of terrain. Quickly throwing the hook to move to rooftops for securing attack zones or swiftly escaping into buildings adds a tactical advantage. It significantly enhances the dynamic nature of Fallout 4. While it's a bit regrettable that the mod lacks a designated pad key, I personally consider it a fantastic addition and one that I'm eager to introduce to you first. Next up is Dynamic NPC Detection. This mod dynamically adjusts the detection range of NPCs based on in-game time and the player's location. For example, during the night, NPCs will find it harder to detect the player compared to the daytime. And, when indoors, the detection range of NPCs is shorter than outdoors. You can configure the base detection range of NPCs through the INI file, enhancing the player's stealth abilities and enabling a more realistic stealth gameplay experience. Next up is the flashlight stealth fix. By default, the Pip-Boy light emits light in all directions, illuminating the player and making them visible to NPCs. However, a unidirectional flashlight doesn't illuminate the player, making them invisible to NPCs. This mod, however, enhances the flashlight experience. When the flashlight is turned on, it increases the player's light detection values and periodically triggers detection events, prompting NPCs to investigate the player's position. This allows for a more immersive experience as NPCs react to the flashlight, enhancing your overall immersion in the game. In this segment, I'll introduce several noteworthy outfit mods that have garnered attention recently. There have been quite a few outfit mods available. First up is the ghillie suits. This mod adds four ghillie suits suitable for sniper play in wooded areas. The creator crafted the outfits using meshes from Modern Warfare 2022, along with manipulated bone structures and altered textures. With an overall excellent texture quality, this outfit is well suited for players who enjoy a sniper-themed concept. Winter textures for this outfit are also available and can be made in the chem lab. Next up is Umbrella Corpse. This mod takes inspiration from the game Umbrella Core and adds armor, helmets, melee weapons, and more. You can customize the colors and camo of the armor and helmets, and there are over 35 patches available to change the look of the uniform, obtainable through the in-game ESP Explorer or console commands. Dress up as an Umbrella Corporation soldier in the world of Fallout 4 and hunt down zombies. Next up is the outfit combination of Vita overalls and comfy boots. Vita overalls add a stylish jumpsuit that accentuates the body line. Since the default color is blue, I decided to pair it with comfy boots, and the combination of these two outfits looks quite appealing. So I wanted to introduce it to you. The CBBE body slide for Vita overalls is available through Test Nexus, and comfy boots provide their own body slide, making it suitable for CBBE body users. You can craft both outfits at the Chem Lab. Next up is the Vita 2023 x mass outfit. This mod provides your character with a new Christmas-themed wardrobe. The outfit can be customized through body slide adjustments, allowing you to choose colors, materials, accessories, and more. The cloak draped over the shoulders and the skirt make for an impressive ensemble. While the physics effects may be slightly lacking compared to Skyrim, the attire itself is truly splendid. Use this outfit to bring the Christmas spirit to the Commonwealth. In this segment, we'll introduce some noteworthy weapon mods that have gained attention recently. There were a few mods that I wanted to highlight. Firstly, the IWI Tabor. This mod adds the Israeli bullpup rifle, IWI Tabor, to the game. The IWI Tabor is part of the Tabor rifle series produced by Israel Weapon Industries and can be used as an assault rifle or submachine gun. Although it lacks tactical reloading, it has its own design and shooting feel that is not bad. You can customize the foregrip, 
upper rail, and left rail, and it offers various modification options such as optics customization. Give it a try if you like what you see. Additionally, there is the HK416 Remake and BPRE AR mod. This mod adds the HK416 and BPRE AR rifles, based on the AAC Honey Badger. Inspired by Black Powder Red Earth, it supports customization such as barrel, stock, and custom optics. Craftable at the chemistry station, it even offers a tactical flashlight rail modification option. If it catches your interest, give it a try. Lastly, there's Doom's FL Redux. This might be exciting news for those who primarily use the FN FAL. With the addition of 20 skins, it's mentioned to be light on storage. Moreover, adjustments have been made to the weapon's stats, aligning the automatic firing mode with the vanilla game mechanics by reducing damage. The base damage has also been slightly decreased. If this suits your preferences, give it a shot. This time, I'll introduce mods related to visuals. Recently, there has been a surge in uploads related to the Modern Replacer series, so I'll focus on explaining a few of them. First up is the Modern Replacer, Hot Plate Mod, which swaps the rusty and dirty hot plates in the wasteland with shiny and new induction cooktops. These cooktops look sufficient and safer to use, whether you're cooking food, crafting chems, or simply admiring their sleek design, they serve a practical and aesthetic purpose. Next is the Modern Replacer, Goon Oil Mode, replacing generic and bland gun oil cans with realistis and branded alternatives. Use these for weapon maintenance, trading with merchants, or enhancing the visual appeal of your settlements. Moving on, the modern replacer. Smartphone mod replaces the bulky and outdated telephone with a sleek, futuristic smartphone, fitting the game's backdrop with a more advanced touch. Lastly, we have the modern replacer, olive oil mod, replacing plain and generic vegetable oil bottles with authentic and delicious olive oil bottles. The design closely resembles the olive oil bottles I use in real life. And, while it might cause some confusion with liquor bottles in the game, I find the design quite impressive. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the must-have new Fallout 4 mods for December 2023. If you enjoyed discovering exciting gameplay enhancements, stylish outfits, advanced rifles, and stunning visual upgrades, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for more incredible mods, and until next time, happy modding in the Commonwealth, see you in the wasteland.